Hello everyone, in this video we'll take a look at how you can use a tool like OpenCV to perform uh, different types of uh, computer vision based applications. So today specifically we'll take a look at how you can use OpenCV to do basic uh, face detection. Um, so OpenCV has been around since uh, early 2000s. Uh, initially um, a lot of the work was done by Intel and then provided as open source um, and uh, currently has a huge fledging community of people. Uh, it's quite active uh, within the computer vision uh, community circles. Um, so uh, again, you can use OpenCV for a wide variety of um, computer vision applications, uh, not just with images, uh, but also build real-time applications such as uh, working with um, or, or taking the data feed from a webcam or surveillance-based uh, equipment to do object detection and object and motion capture and a lot of uh, machine learning-based algorithms to help detect the objects. So uh, in the demo today, we're just going to take some basic examples of uh, doing face detection. Uh, so to get started, um, we'll dive into an example and then walk through uh, a sample code. Uh, so I have a few images here. So I have some stock images of uh, profile photos. And I have uh, images of uh, the Bon Jovi group. Uh, so uh, to take a look at the example in action, so here if I, I, I run the, uh, the piece of code, so in this particular case, um, it's, a, it's a Python program. Uh, the library itself has been written in C and C++. Uh, th uh, there is support for a lot many other languages, uh, but I'm using Python today. Uh, so if I run this uh, piece of code, you can see that it's actually uh, run that um, uh, on the image and it's um, accurately detected uh, the four profiles or the four faces uh, within the photo. So now let's actually take a look at the code itself. So this is the actual code that performed all those actions uh, and I must highlight that um, I'm not the or original author of this uh, piece of code. Um, I, I did do quite a few online searches and uh, the code that you're seeing is a result of uh, a few copy paste. Uh, so again, I, I don't claim to have uh, written this piece of code uh, first hand or from scratch. Uh, the code itself is fairly simple. Um, you can see it's uh, got the name of the image. Uh, could have been a parameter, but I've just hard coded that here. And um, uh, in this particular example, we are using um, the cascade uh, classifier to detect faces. Uh, this is a, a resource that was initially provided by Intel. And uh, since then, you, you can find a lot of other uh, resource files, these cascade files for detecting various objects, like detecting the eyes of uh, people, as well as the face uh, detection that I'm showing you today. And then finally, once you have um, uh, uh, you have um, pulled in that um, uh, the cascade uh, classifier, we're then gonna convert the image to grayscale because that's um, how the classifier is gonna be uh, working with. Uh, so it doesn't work with color images, just uh, grayscale images uh, really well. So we are converting to grayscale, and then this is really where the magic happens. So that's um, about providing. Um, suitable parameters um, uh, to refine how the algorithm is uh, going to be searching for these objects. Uh, so as with all machine learning um, based solutions, it's about um, uh, identifying the right features, providing the right feature selection and the required parameters against that. So of course, um, this particular example was uh, tweaked to uh, work with uh, the initial image. Um, and then finally, uh, the rest of the code basically just detects uh, or prints the number of faces that were detected. And finally, um, a rectangle is drawn on the faces. So as you can see, fairly simple, elegant code. So now if we were to work with a different set of images, like say, for example, uh, if you look at this image, um, you'll notice that uh, uh, it's the same Bon Jovi group uh, with uh, John Bon Jovi in the foreground and the other team members in the background. So let me change uh, to the second image. Um, I'm going to leave all these parameters as is, but uh, basically to demonstrate how feature selection is such an important aspect of any machine learning based solution. So um, as you can see with um, this particular image, it has detected the four faces, but uh, also incorrectly detected quite many other parts of the image, which uh, uh, this particular uh, parameters and the algorithm deems to be a face. 
So as you can see, it's um, now resulted in um, uh, you know selection of uh, incorrect faces. Uh, but then again, it boils down to providing the right set of parameters. So let's take this example a little further, and uh, we'll try an example uh, with just one single face. And of course, in this particular case, it's a much smaller image. Now, for it to work with that small image, we need to tweak the parameters still further. Uh, so let me just change it to um, the, the image file name. And uh, let me change the scale factor here, as well as uh, the minimum window size. Uh, so now, if I run it against these parameters, uh, you'll notice that yes, uh, it has detected um, for um, that particular uh, the face within that image. As you can see, it's uh, the face is slightly tilted, but uh, the required parameters that were provided has enabled us to uh, detect the face um, on that image as well. Uh, of course, um, with uh, real-world applications, it requires us to do. Uh, a lot more due diligence when, uh, with regard to providing the right parameters. In some cases, it's, uh, of, uh, or in almost all cases really, it re depends on the kind of uh, uh, profile photos that uh, you're using or the images that you're using and um, the resolution and the scale and the kind of um, environment that these images can be taken in from uh, can uh, give you an idea as to what the right parameters are that can be provided uh, to help detect the faces a lot more accurately. And in some cases, it does make sense to run the algorithm against multiple set of uh, parameters here and then uh, using uh, some level of feature selection, identifying uh, the final um, number of faces here. So this was kind of like the equivalent of a Hello World program uh, to detect faces. But uh, as I mentioned uh, early on, OpenCV is a very powerful library. You can use it to build um, not just uh, face uh, detection, but also face recognition, uh, type applications, as well as building real-time applications with uh, live feeds coming in from uh, webcams and surveillance cameras and various other feeds. So it's a very, very powerful library. Uh, hope the video has been helpful and look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks for your time.